Hi you guys, for today's video, I am going to be shooting a Q&A. So a little while ago, I went on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, I have it linked down in the description below if you would like to. And that is where I usually send out for like questions or video topics. It's also where I post more content. So I did, I went on my Instagram and I asked you to send me some questions. I got some really great questions. I'm gonna answer quite a few of them here. I can never answer all of them. If your question's not answered, next time send it again and hopefully I will get to it. But before I get started, I wanna point out that I am wearing some merch. So I have opened up a merch shop, which I'm super excited about. It's sort of similar to what I've created in the past for um, our family channel. So I basically created a bunch of different designs that speak to themes that are important to me. You know, like I love the moon. So this one is super cute. It's just like this crew neck sweater and it says moon mama. So I have this, I have a really cute hat, um, a phone case, t-shirts, all sorts of different things. And I would love if you guys would like to check it out. I would really appreciate it. And if there's something you like, that would be even cooler. <laughs> so let's jump right into the Q and A. Uh, first question right off the bat from Miss Ann R. Any updates on the relationship between me and Corbin? I would say it's about where it's been. It hasn't really shifted much. I think that I am feeling a personal shift of just feeling really settled into um, acceptance of like where we're at and not trying to rush it into being something else and also just being really clear on how I want to show up in this parallel parenting, co-parenting, divorced relationship and just feeling really at peace with as long as I'm in alignment on how I would like to show up and what's important to me and just sticking to that no matter what, then I'm good. I'm not really a shift within the dynamic itself more of just like an internal shift with within myself. Next question is from Ellie McIntyre who asks, how do the kids go when transitioning from yours and Corbin's house? Um, I think that the transition days are always hard. I mean, I'm not sure if hard is the right word, but it's, it's a transition for everyone, right? Having the house empty versus full of my children. For them, it's, you know, two different households, different parents, different rules, different expectations, different lifestyles. And the, especially like the first day, I try not to plan anything in the evening. So, you know, like Junie's still in school and Tabor has his early learning education. But in the evenings, I try to make sure to keep that clear. I don't know if that'll always be the case as like, you know, different after school activities and you can't really control when those are scheduled. So, um, but right now I just, I try to keep that clear so that we can all kind of settle in in the evening. What I've noticed is that it seems like around day five, like when they're about day five with me, they're really starting to miss him. And I don't know if that's the same sort of thing for when they're at his house. Um, and then of course I always miss my kids when they're not with me, but also the same thing for me. When it's about day five without them, I'm like, my heart is like, ugh, aching for them to come back. But we do the best we can with what we have and it works. Next question is from VC Wardley 11 What are the kids going to be for Halloween? Great question. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, this isn't figured out and I'm just like sharing even though nothing's figured out. But um, like last year, Corbin and I kind of split Halloween. So they had like two separate costumes and it just kind of seemed like a lot. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do this week like in our divorce decree. It's uh, my year to have like actual Halloween night. We'll just see. I think it would be great to kind of like share the holiday if that is possible and everyone's open to that and so i know i'm pretty sure that they have costumes picked out or maybe already have um with corbin and if we are all sharing the holiday then that's what they will be but we'll see if not then <laughs> i will come up with something for the kids and it'll be great we have some halloween costumes like last year Tabor was a pumpkin super cute costume he might want to do it again junie i feel like always wants to be a cat but maybe she's changed her mind so i kind of like those 
DIY thrown together costumes. I know like the store-bought ones are really cute too, but I kind of still kind of like the old school DIY throw it together sort of costumes. I think it's just classic and cute. Next question is from T. Christie who asks, how is Sweet Paris? Oh, he is doing so good. And also it feels like our time with him is definitely coming to an end. And I could be totally wrong about this, but you know, he's over 16 years old and he spends most of his time sleeping. And it kind of just feels like he's in between worlds just because he's just sleeping all the time. But he's still good and he's still happy. He still cuddles with me every night in my bed. And he still eats and walks around when he's not sleeping and when the day comes where, you know, he can no longer be with us, that will be devastating and heartbreaking and yet we have so many beautiful memories with him that he's lived a really good life. You know, he's had a lot. He's done a lot. He went on a van life experience. He's still kicking, you know? He, maybe he's gonna live forever, who knows? Maybe he's found like the fountain of youth, eternal life drink and I, he hasn't shared that with anyone else. Could be true. Next question is from Jen Sharp. What are your traditions with the kids for Halloween? I mean, so we do the typical like trick-or-treating costumes and decorating, but I would really like to incorporate more just being mindful of like the seasons and nature and, you know, focus not entirely on just like the commercial aspects of the holiday. So some ideas for that is I really want to do some DIY fall slash Halloween decorations with the kids with like nature, like maybe we'll go for a nature hike and collect sort of things. And um, Tabor School does this really, really cool activity program. I took the kids and it was like their favorite thing for Halloween. They totally beat candy, which is amazing. But basically they do a gathering with all the families and each family does like a little nature gift for trick-or-treating so the kids are going around and instead of getting candy they're getting like these really sweet nature trinkets so like maybe a painted rock or like a pine cone that's been turned into a spider or some people were so creative they had like little acorns that they had like make these little felt witch hats on and it was just the cutest thing ever the kids still have like this little box full of all of their nature trinkets and we get to do it again this year which i'm so excited about so they'll get to add in more trinkets into their box and also now that we know how serious everyone takes this activity we have to get started on ours and find something really cool to make nature wise okay next question is from christina ekman how are you and your boyfriend? Do you see a future with him? Hope you're doing well. So, update on the relationship status. Um, so, the my boyfriend and I have transitioned from being in a romantic relationship to being in a friendship. And I haven't shared that on social media just because honestly the relationship itself was so private. Um, I barely shared him anyways. You know, I mentioned him in a q and I've posted a couple videos of us dancing on Instagram. But besides that, it was pretty private. And I am feeling really at peace with everything right now, but it was heartbreaking. It was like so heartbreaking and I still really love him and I think he's an incredible person. And yeah, I feel really good with transitioning into a friendship. We have some different alignments on where we want our lives to go and he doesn't want to live here in Boise. He wants to be traveling a lot. I think it feels really nice to remain like connected in a friendship capacity. I also feel really, really good of just being really clear on what I'm looking for in a relationship and in a partnership and how I learned so much from that relationship. Um, another thing that's really important is that you know, like the kids adore him and he adores the kids. So just to really be able to keep that friendship felt also really important in that way of just, you know, so we've done things together where it's uh, kind of focusing on the kids just so that they can stay in each other's lives and no, it's not gonna be all the time. It's not like we're spending all this time together. Um, 
But yeah, just to keep that because I think that is really nice for everyone. Next question is, will you be doing any hikes, camping, or runs during the winter months? Um, definitely runs. I don't know about hikes. I don't, you know, honestly, I'd rather trail jog instead of hike unless I'm with somebody and we're like out camping. There has been talk of doing like a snowshoe into your camping um, that has been sort of been talked about the last couple of years. So I'm hoping we can do something like that this year. That would be really fun. I don't have anything super planned. Um, it's always nice to get up to a cabin at, at some point during the winter, especially when there's a bunch of snow during the holidays. It's just really beautiful. But yeah, besides that, I'll definitely be running. Um, rain <laughs> or snow, I'll be running. Um, the trails, depends if it's like muddy, then I can't run the trails, but I'll make my way out there. I'll be running for sure. Next question is from Alexandra Gregorian. How did you decide you were ready to start dating again? I don't feel like it was a clear decision. Like it kind of just happened. Honestly, the thing is, is you know, I married my high school sweetheart, so I really didn't do a lot of dating in general. And then, you know, I was in this relationship, still hadn't really done any dating. And I don't know, I, I, I haven't really ever experienced where you're being out and dating, you know, multiple people before being in like an, a relationship. It's just not really something I've experienced in my life much. Um, I don't know. So that's not really helpful, is it? <laughs> um, I kind of just feel open to connections, I guess. And then when I have a connection with somebody that feels like it could be deeper or maybe it's calling to me, I guess I just try to listen to that. Next question is from Rose who asked, which country would I like to go to? So many countries. I have been wanting to go to Thailand for years and I'm hoping to make that happen soon. My list of countries I want to go to is, is never ending. I want to see as much of the world as I possibly can, basically. Naima Nishi asks, share your weight loss journey. I think for me and losing weight, it's really been, I can't say that it wasn't like completely unintentional. And yet also I feel like it's very different from the typical like weight loss stories, I guess. I started to just really pay attention to how food was affecting my well-being in all the way, like how it affected my mood or how did it make me tired and lethargic or, irritable or did it make me feel alive and and energized and ready to keep going with my day so i started to really focus on the connection between food and my mental and emotional well-being and i started to really focus on that when corbin and i were going through all of these shifts and there was a lot of emotional turmoil and i just wanted to really support my body that way the other part of that is and i'm not sure if I've, I've ever really talked about this but the other part of that is there is so much stress that I really didn't have much of an appetite. So I think I really lost touch with my hunger. And honestly, I think I'm still working to reconnect that. And that is not something that I encourage or recommend or that I think is good. Um, it's just kind of the reality of that. And also I stopped breastfeeding Tabor. I was like pregnant and then breastfeeding Juniper and then I was pregnant and then breastfeeding Tabor. So once I stopped breastfeeding Tabor, my body's um, um, hormones could really start to, I don't know if go back to normal is the right term, but um, to kind of like shift out of like pregnancy breastfeeding hormone mode. Um, so I think that was part of it as well. And I love to move. So I started to really dance a lot, ecstatic dance and those are like two hours of dancing and I love to run trails and I love to just be active and do Pilates and yoga and yeah. I think in terms of like weight loss, if I would support the idea of people focusing on what makes them feel good, what makes them feel energized instead of following like strict diets or workout regimens 
because I think everyone's body is different and we are all intuitive. And the more we can tap into that and into what we need personally, I think that is the best way to go. Obviously, I'm not a nutritionist. It's just my own opinion. Ooh, let's get deep. Last one, and then we will close it up. So last one is our homegrown kids asked, would love to know your thoughts on what happens after death. Have your views changed? I don't know if my views have changed because I don't know if I've shared on what my views are. Essentially though, I will share my current belief, and it's been my belief for quite a long time, is I, I actually believe in reincarnation. So I think that we are like constantly evolving as souls and we're coming back and we're learning different lessons. And I, and I think we come back as like different things, like not always like people, like maybe we're animals or plants and just each experience teaches us and evolves us as a soul. And then eventually someday we've learned all the lessons and we kind of, I don't know exactly how to describe this one part or this last bit of what I think happens is like, eventually we kind of all come back into like being one connected divine expression. Yeah, something like that. It's super vague, hard to describe. Besides the reincarnation part, I think that's pretty clear. A lot of people understand that. I'm definitely more like spiritually minded. So thank you guys so much for watching this video for sending me your questions i absolutely love doing q a's i love getting to dive in deeper with you guys start to uh, really share things that i know you guys are interested in because you're asking about them and just creating it just feels like a deeper connection so please be sure to leave a comment down below i would love to continue this community building by uh, interacting with you in the comments and again i would absolutely love it if you checked out my merch shop I'll have it linked in the description below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.